Hey, yo. Hey, what's up? It's Izzy here with I Do The Most, and I'm back with some Yu-Gi-Oh! pack openings. So today we're doing the brand new set, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh!'s King's Court. In this set, it has quite a few collector's rare, and I believe a new type of rarity. Uh, let's see what it says on the back. The Joker's Wild. The King of Games shall see shall see you now. King's Court revitalizes, revitalizes Yu-Gi's three musketeers of face cars. King's Knight, Queen's Knight, and Jack's Knight. And includes new cards related to deck strategies, themes introduced or supported in the Legendary Duelist Season 2, Lightning Overdrive, and more. Okay, so this is like a follow-up of Lightning Overdrive. I believe that this set has a brand new rarity in it called like Pharaoh's Rare or something like that. I was looking online at some of the cards inside of it. It has a slew of really good cards that could potentially be pulled from this set. And as far as value goes, there were a lot of 50 to hundreds of dollars of cards inside of the set. So I, I was super excited about grabbing them up. And it's a lot of callback to monsters that you're familiar with, like the night cards that they spoke of and a few other sets. So if you're excited for this pack opening and you want to see what's inside, you want to see if we got some luck going our way today, I ask that you hit the like and stay tuned. We're going to jump right into this bad boy. So I'm going to start out with 10 packs today. See if uh, 10 is our lucky number. We bought quite a few of them. Look at the artwork on that. I believe they got a new Arcana. Or uh, what, what's it called? Arcana Joker. Or something like that. A, a retrain of it. The last one they had was the uh, the Link version. So let's see what they have in here. Starting out with a Utopia, Eternal Bond, Queen's Knight, so one of the feature cards, Pendulum XYZ, Golden Eyes Idol, so we got some Relinquished uh, support as well, ZW Ultimate Shield, some more uh, Utopia support, and... Magnet Induction. What does this do? If you control a Magnet Warrior whose original level is 4 or lower, special summon 1 level 4 or lower Magnet Warrior monster from your deck with a different name than the cards you control. Also for the rest of the turn after this card resolves, Magnet Warrior and Magna Warrior monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle or your opponent's card effects. You can only activate one Magnet Induction per turn. Okay, so it helps to speed up the Magnet Warrior decks. That's pretty dope, because I, I actually ran the Electromagnet Warriors uh, previously in the past. It's a pretty fun deck. Uh, you can do a decent amount with it, and it, it, it can get really powerful if you set it up the right way. I actually did a Magnet Warrior slash ABC deck. I don't even remember how the hell I did it, but I don't really remember losing too many matches with it. It was crazy, because you can get out... like. Uh, Berserkion and Valkyrion and then go into their fused form and then you also got ABC Buster Dragon on the field right beside them so you're banishing stuff your monsters are bouncing around they're reoccurring it was doing a bunch of things that it was hard to kind of shut down and then I moved on to True Kings and to this day True Kings I think has been my strongest most consistent deck so I might look back into the Magnet Warriors. Let's see what other kind of support they have inside of here. Now, I don't have my sleeves next to me, but if we pull some heat, I'm going to get my big behind up and go find these sleeves. I don't know where they are. I put them up this time. <laughs> I usually just kind of sit them with my bulk uh, unsorted stash, but let's see, put them up. Got a couple different uh, sleeves to work with. So we got Majestic Dragon, so we got some Stardust support, ZW, Cloud Castle, Covering Wishes, got a Rescue Rabbit, okay, I haven't seen that monster in a while, Arcana Extra Joker, that was the uh, Link one that I was speaking of earlier in the video, and XYZ Hyper Cannon, so we also got some of the Union support it looks like. Or XYZ Dragon Cannon support. Okay. I know a few years back, the Ojamas got some support. It was basically like Chaz themed monsters where they mixed the Ojamas with the 
uh, ele- not elemental, the alphabetical machines like the ABC and the XYZ cards and uh, the, uh, what was it called? Uh, freak, it's right there on the tip of my tongue. The level dragon monster. It's, it's escaping me. But anyway, we got Rescue Rabbit. And, you know, it has a way of working. It's very weird, though, because you're, like, mixing beasts with dragons with machine union monsters. And it's just like, all right, where the hell are we going with this? And then, like, the eventual monster that you get from it, it is super beasty, but it, it's also kind of like you need the exact pieces because you need it, like, the VW wing, uh, catapult, you need the XYZ dragon, you need the ABZ dragon, and then you also needed uh, the level dragon, and I believe all of them were needed for the fusion of the final boss, it was it was crazy, Constellar, we got some Constellar support, the Wicked Dreadroot, that looks like Summon Skull, the Wicked Eraser, Golden Eyes Idol, and Tendango D-Holes, <laughs> oh snap. You ever had ten dangles in your D hole? No, nah, seriously though, if you do, probably need to go get that checked out. <laughs> Let me stop. Alright, uh what is this? Pack number four. Got a Queen's Knight pack. Look at the artwork on that. I wanna I wanna keep this one in good condition. That's a nice pack. Every once in a while I find Attack art that stands out for me, and I like to keep them. Nice to look back on and think about the cards that came inside of it, and just look at them themselves. Got Rescue Rabbit, the Wicked Dread Root again, Constellar Ptolemy M7, Stardust Zhao Long, Gravekeeper Spy, so got some Gravekeepers in there, Rhoda, and Thunder Speed Summon. For a second, I thought that was Lightning Vortex. I was about to lose my shit. I was like, what? <laughs> I believe there actually is a Lightning Vortex in this set. So, who knows? We might actually pull one today. So far, we haven't pulled anything above a Super Rare, though. I'm hoping that that doesn't continue. I want to see some heat. Because you know how we do over here on I Do The Most. We like the heat. ZW Tornado Bringer. Golden Eyes Idol, the Wicked Avatar, so there's three Wicked Monsters, I knew of Eraser and Avatar, I didn't know the last one, Unexpected Die, Warrior Returning Alive, got Jax Knight, so Jax Knight, Queen's Knight, and the Arcana Joker, uh, Link Monster, let's see what else we can get to go along with them, and Chao Fang, Phantom of the Yang Zing. Never really did get into the Yang Zing. I played against them a couple times. Some of them were really good duelists. The other ones, I was just like, uh, what does your deck do? It just seems like you're kind of bouncing around to a bunch of little monsters and synchro summoning. But, like, what is your end game? And then I played against some that, you know, they had a consistent strategy where I had to sit there and applaud them. They still lost most of the time, but <laughs> that's beside the point. Got Cloud Castle. Utop- Utopic Future. This was a hard monster to get over at one point. Utopia. Eternal Bond. For Photons. Queen Knight again. Pendulum XYZ. And hey! We got our first Ultra Rare. We got Arcana Triumph Joker. Pretty dope. Oh, snitty dab. I like it. I like it a lot. Alright, so i got to make sure to get her sleeved up. I'll grab the sleeves in a minute. She's safely put off to the side. And she came out of the Queen's Night pack, so that was appropriate. Or, I guess that's her, but... Her base form is Queen's Night. I don't care what nobody said. That's Queen's Night right there. It's clearly her in the picture. She just got an upgrade. Alright, the Wicked Dreadroot. That was the third Wicked Monster. Eraser. Golden Eyes Idol. This has been in, like, every pack. These Utopia cards, the Pendulum cards, Arcana Knight Joker. This is the Fusion one, so that's actually a, a, a different card. And we got Fortune Tune. I'll throw this in a couple decks that could muster rank threes. Usually just as filler. When I get when I started getting back into the game as far as like on uh YGO Pro. 
and I was just kind of filling in slots. That was one of the cards I used. I was like, eh, you know, if I'm in a situation and I need to recover a card or just get a few life points or just make some space on the field, uh, it does a thing. Got Gravekeeper Spy, Utopia Ray for our Utopia. Some more Utopia support, Pendulum Transfer. I like how those pendulums look. Got Pot of Duality. That's still a solid card. Uh, wind Up Arsenal Zenmaya. Zenmayo. Never actually seen that monster. Two level 5 monsters. Once per turn you can detach one material from this card and target two set cards on the field. Destroy them. Okay. Sounds situational for level 5s, but I guess if you can bring them out pretty easily. And you need to clear some back row or face down monsters you're playing against. Uh, I forgot what that flip deck was called. It was annoying as hell though. But you're playing against them, you can blow their monsters up. And lastly, we got World Legacy Guard Dragon. A super rare. That artwork is dope. I'm not sure what's going on, but I like it. And I'm not too familiar with the World Legacy cards. I've pulled a couple of them, but I've never actually taken the time to sit down and read through them. Because it's like the uh, World Legacy and then the World Talus cards. And then I believe that there's like a third archetype that also... Uh, is a part of it. Got Jack Knight. Did we get Jack, Jack Knight already? I think we did get a Jack Knight. So we got Jack Knight, Queen's Knight, two Arcana Jokers, and Arcana Triumph Joker, the one that looks like Queen's Knight. All right, Ties of Brethren. Good ass card. Dope. I'm putting that to the side for myself. ZW Tornado Bringer. Stardust Jowlong. ZW Eagle Claw. Uh, ZW Leo Arms. And bang! We got a Joker straight. Guess this is a way to hold a discard one card, special summon one Queen's Knight from your deck, add one ja uh, King's Knight or Jack's Knight from your deck to your hand, then immediately after this card effects resolves, you can normal summon one monster. You cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck for the rest of the turn except for light warrior monsters. During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one light warrior monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into your deck if you do add this card to your hand. Okay, so it just reoccurs. It 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 doesn't seem to any downside to it. Okay, I like that. I like them reoccurring cards, and it's an easy way to make your night cards work. Cause by themselves they're trash. They're early, uh, dual monster cards, and you know, at the time special summoning wasn't as prevalent as it is today. So, you know, you, you, you kind of got what you got. Alright, last pack of King's Court. Sent us some luck. Send me your energy! Alright. Let's see what we got. Starting off, we got a Utopia. Stardust Zhao Long. Arcana Extra Joker. Pendulum XYZ. Another Ties of the Brethren, so that's times two for me. I take it. Wicked Eraser. And last card of this episode is... Bang! We got a Morph King Stygy Gel. Don't know what the freak that is, but... It looks like it could be an alien support card. Let's see. If this card is normal summon a special summon target, one other face-up monster on the field. You cannot special summon monsters from your extra deck except synchro monsters for the rest of the turn. Also... Change this card's level to the level of that target. If you do gain life points, equal to the target's level times 200. During your main phase, you can special summon one fiend monster with a level lower than this card from your hand. So, uh, okay, okay. So if you got a monster, you can special summon him, and then you can special summon another monster, and then you can go into your synchro plays. That's 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 kind of wild. I, I could see that being a, actually being a decent card. I might look up some strategies with him, because... Oh, it's a fiend card. I was, I'm looking at it thinking that it's a reptile because it looks like an alien card, and I believe the aliens were reptiles. I was going to say, I could, I could throw this into my reptile deck. Are you kidding me? I'm still going to build that rept reptile deck. I wasn't bullshitting about that. I just haven't gotten around to it. So, anyway, if you enjoyed the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening today, I don't know why I'm so hyped up. I ain't even make no coffee yet. But anyway, if you enjoyed the pack openings today and you watched the video up to this point, I want to say thank you for watching hope that you know you had a good time and i will be posting more uh pack openings of king's court 
I've liked the cards that I've seen so far. It's a lot of repeat cards, it seems, but like the, the higher end cards, anything beyond super rare, it seems like they might have like quite a few. I've seen a lot of cards online, so I, I don't I don't know. Maybe it was just the order of the packs that I picked them up or something. When they came from the factory or wherever the hell they came from. But anyway, if you're new to the channel, what we do here is Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG pack openings. Um, if that sounds like something that you're interested in, I encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, if you'd like to see more content in the future and you don't want to miss out on anything that's going on, uh, go ahead and hit the bell to be notified when new content is being uploaded. When we hit 200, we will be doing our first giveaway on the channel. I'm not sure whether it's going to be Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or one of the other TCGs or a mix of things, but we'll, we'll talk about that as the time comes. Uh, the channel has been growing, and I appreciate the support. I hope that it continues, and I hope to see you in the next video. But with that being said, I'm going to head out. You have yourself a good day. Peace.